Lesson 11.3a, Comparing Differences in Centers to Variability. In 6th grade math, 16.2a, b, and c, we were introduced to mean absolute deviation, MAD. The mean absolute deviation of a set of data values is the mean distance, the average distance, between each data value and the mean, the average, of the data set. The mean and the mean absolute deviation, MAD, of a data set are the measures of center and variability. The mean is the measures of center and the MAD is the variability. To find the MAD, we first find the mean of the data, the average of the data. Next, we take the absolute value of the difference between the mean and each data point and finally, we find the mean of those absolute values. If you're very confused with the terminology here, stick with me, and hopefully by the end of the video, you'll completely understand. Now, typically, when finding the MAD for a data set, you're going to have quite a few numbers. You might have 20 or 30. You might have a lot of data values. We're going to use only four to make this very simple and easy to understand. So, here we have some minutes reading that someone spent these minutes reading, and the first thing we do is find the mean of the data, the average. We total these up to get a sum, 156, and we divide by 4 for the 4 values. There's 1, 2, 3, 4. We're going to divide by 4. We get 39. The next thing we're going to do is take the absolute value of the difference between the mean, 39, and each data point. So we're going to find the absolute value of the difference between 39 and 32. We can do 32 minus 39 in absolute value bars. That's going to be a 7. And the difference between the absolute value of 36 and 39 is 3. Between 40 and 39 is a 1. Between 48 and 39 is a 9. Now, we find the mean of those values, of the green values. We're just going to find their average. We total them up. 7 plus 3 plus 1 plus 9 is 20. There's 4 values here, so we're going to divide by 4 again. And 20 divided by 4 is equal to 5. That means 5 minutes is the average difference between these minutes. The MAD is 5, 5 minutes. Remember, absolute value is the distance from zero on a number line. It's shown by these bars on each side. So the absolute value of negative 3 is 3 because it's 3 jumps from zero. And the absolute value of 3 is 3. It's 3 jumps from zero. Absolute values are always positive. Distances are always positive. The A in MAD can help us to remember how to calculate the MAD. The A stands for absolute and can remind us to find the absolute value of the difference of each data value and the mean of that data set. So for our minutes reading, this is our data set. The data set is 32, 36, 40, 48, and we can show the set within braces. These are called braces, and they're also sometimes called curly braces or curly brackets. It's a type of grouping symbol. Now let's try it again with seven data values. So these are miles driven in one week. We've got seven data values. And if you notice, they're not in order. We've got a four here, then a 12. Look at, there's a nine way over here. They're not in order from least to greatest. And they don't need to be. We just need to find the average, the mean. We add all of them up and get a sum of 84. And because there's seven, values, we're going to divide by 7. We get 12. That's the mean of the data set, the average of the data set. Now we find the absolute value of the difference between 4 and 12, which is 8, between 12 and 12, which is 0, and between 10 and 12, which is 2, and between 13 and 12, which is 1, 16 and 12, which is 4, 20 and 12, which is 8, and 9 and 12, which is 3. We take all these green numbers and we find their average. We're going to find the mean of the green numbers. We add them all up 
and we get 26. Notice I have my zero here. It is one of the values. If we don't count this zero, we're going to be dividing by six and get the wrong number. We have to include the zero. We get 26 divided by seven values. When I did 26 divided by seven, I got 3.71428 and it continued on. We can say it's approximately three and seven tenths. We can just use these. The one is gonna tell the seven to stay the same. So it's approximately three and seven tenths miles as the average difference between the miles. We can say it's approximately 3.7 for the MAD. There are several calculations we need to do to find the MAD, and we can easily make an error. If we find MADs that are significantly different than each other, we've made an error somehow and we'll need to recalculate. Okay, we're finished with the first part of the lesson. We're going to move on to the second part using multiple samples to compare populations. I hope this made sense. A lot of people get confused with mean absolute deviation. I hope you have a wonderful day, and please join me for the second part of the lesson. Bye.